So a few things about Gatlinburg and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park is the most visited national park in the United States, far surpassing the Grand Canyon or even Yosemite National Park in California. There are several different entrances to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, but the city of Gatlinburg, located in eastern Tennessee, is probably the most famous. The city of Gatlinburg itself only has a full-time population of about 6,000 residents. But on any given weekend, the number of people in Gatlinburg can swell to as many as 30,000, as both national and international tourists flock to this resort town. The city of Gatlinburg was settled in 1806, but was not incorporated until 1945. However, the history of Gatlinburg goes back many centuries before this, as it was used by many Native American Indian tribes to access the hunting trails into the Great Smoky Mountains, where game and fish were plentiful. Gatlinburg found itself at odds during the Civil War as Tennessee was a Confederate state and pro-slavery, yet a vast majority of the residents living in Gatlinburg were actually opposed to slavery and were pro-Union during the war. Today, Gatlinburg is not just a doorway to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, but a tourist destination unto itself, with a wide variety of restaurants, including both top-end steakhouses, two amusement rides, and many museums. Gatlinburg has it all, including, in my opinion, one of the best aquariums I've ever visited. So spend the next few minutes with Karen and I, along with their daughter Shannon and her fiance Chris, as we explore Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Hey, today we are on probably what I would describe as our first official day of exploring Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, yeah. because the first two days we're gonna call practice days, but we've got our daughter Shannon, her fiance Chris Dell, if you remember him from a previous fishing video we did back in Ohio, where he was witness to me catching my biggest fish ever, and then it got off. Because then it's not a fishing story. If I actually, if I actually have witnessed the seas, it's not a fishing story. Well, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> but anyways, come with us. We're gonna go explore Pitch and Forge in Gatlinburg. Thank you, thank you for yeah, say, another day, another day. <laughs> Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. you wanna go in there? You, you no, 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 no. So our first stop on our Gatlinburg adventure is Ripley's Believe It or Not Aquarium. So we're gonna check this out. And we got a ticket for the four of us that allows to do, well, I'll explain it later on, but allows to do a couple different things. But our first stop is here at the Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg. Ooh, maybe piranha. No, it is a red hook. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and stingrays. Now we have found the piranha. Red belly piranha. Ooh, these are the dangerous ones. To human only when food source is scarce or crowded into small pools, but a hungry school of piranha can clean a carcass in minutes. Ooh, the dangerous piranha. I wonder if it ate that cow down there. This is an electric eel, and that's his tail right there. See if he swims around. There he is. That is a huge eel. Oh, that's easily three feet long. What's that? Ooh, four-eyed fish. Do I want to do what? Four eyed fish. More eels.
opinion, that was probably one of the best aquariums I have ever been in. That, I guess that like underwater tube thing you walk under, I've been through a couple of those in my life, but that was so cool. It was so long too. I really enjoyed myself. Yeah, it was a really neat, it's, a, it's, a, it's in a small place, but it's a really neat aquarium. Yeah, well worth the money. Um, again, I probably would skip the glass bottom boat portion of it, but it was really cool. It was really worth the money. Yeah, so definitely two thumbs up for the Ripley's Believe It or Not Aquarium. I think it's called the Smoky Mountain Ripley's Believe It or Not Aquarium. I'll look it up, obviously, and put it above my head. We don't know. We don't, we'll get the exact name up there. But if you're in the area, this is definitely two thumbs up. Okay, we're getting on the Skylift ride. Some of us have had a little bit too much to drink at some distilleries. We're not gonna say who that is. But we're gonna get but we're gonna get on the Skylift ride and hopefully I do not drop the iPhone off the Skylift ride so I can put this video up on YouTube and show my adoring audience. Okay, so they can only do the most they can do is three. They can't do four. So Chris and Shannon, they're up. Here we come. This is ours. You're gonna watch your head and raise my friends. Thank you. And we're on. I better not drop the phone, right? Please don't. Yeah, let's not drop the phone. Shan, Shannon, let's 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 buy one of those houses on the top right. Okay, so we are on our way up, all the way up to the top. And then we're gonna walk across. Oh, then we're gonna walk. Oh, oh my gosh! And then we're gonna walk across this bridge up here. And it's been told to us that some of the best times to see this is at sunset, which is exactly the time of day we're doing. It. Did you guys have a good time? Great. Awesome. Yes, perfect. We all we right, will. we're gonna do it. Okay, so we're about ready to get off of our. Uh... Please don't stumble. No, don't stumble. Look, they raised their bar already. Anyway, <laughs> what if they were to fall out? Because I guess we can raise our bar. Look at that. Okay. They don't fall out. Don't fall out. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a successful touchdown here. To the right. To the right. Look at that. <laughs> well, that's all right. Okay, after successfully navigating the sky bridge in a slightly inebriated state, we have successfully made it to the top. We did not fall off. Most importantly, I did not drop my camera. And now we are going to walk on this bridge over here. Well, as you can probably guess, Karen, Shannon, Chris, and I all made it across the bridge totally fine. However, the video did not. Either we somehow electronically lost the video along the way, or perhaps maybe the alcohol in my system had something to do with it. But in either case, we ended up with getting no video of us crossing the bridge. But with that being said, Gatlinburg is an outstanding location to visit, especially between the Great Smoky Mountains area in Eastern Tennessee. Karen and I loved it, and we'll definitely be going back again. Our next video will be on Pigeon Fort of Tennessee, a small town just outside of Gatlinburg that's packed with everything you could ever imagine for family entertainment. If you like this video or any of our previous videos, don't forget to hit like and subscribe on Blue Line RV Adventures. Remember, we got your six.